you, everyone has that. And if you were to pull out your cell phone and just go on a rant about Carrie, you would do the, um, and you would do the little, you would have those little things too, cause that's human nature. But you know, what's so crazy is that that's what we, that's what we, that's what we gravitate to. We sit there watching it, whether we have a negative opinion about it at the end or not, we we're on social media. We are on the internet watching videos of a bunch of random shit. <laughs> and it's like, it's like, it's, but, but what's so crazy is that you have something to talk about. A lot of people don't. And in these particular cases, yeah, with these people, you can see no one's a professional. It doesn't take, you know, skill. <laughs> it, it doesn't. And, 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 and I'm telling you, you throw something out like that. Yeah. You're going to have X amount of people that oh. probably have an opinion about you, but then you're going to also have those few people that say, Hey, I'm just like her. She, she, she's just like me. And those are, your, those end up becoming your followers. Those end up becoming your, 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 your best friends. Those end up becoming people you close escrow with. And, and they came from people that saw you on faith. There are people that came to you that saw you on Facebook through some random video, but you happen to be targeting them because you were running a Facebook ad and they happen to live two miles away from you. Right. That sounds cool. So let me ask you, you know? um, when you, when you do this video, um, do I just do, do I do it live on that? No. Uh, I, I have never done any of these video things. It's not, I mean, I can do a video on, um, on my phone and just upload it. Is that, is that what it entails or how do you go about doing it? Yeah, that, that is all you're going to do. Like you're going to literally pull out your cell phone and, and have your husband hold it, you know, have your whole husband hold it. If you don't have a tripod, you, you can easily go to Amazon. Do you have a tripod? Um, no, I don't, but I've got a selfie stick somewhere. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. A selfie stick or even a very, very inexpensive um, tripod. You can get one for like 10 bucks on Amazon, but yeah, you can put that thing up on your table, sit back on your couch, do it however you want to do it. Like do it at home, do it in your car, do it at the office, do it in front of your computer, do it however, but make it look super, super authentic and, and natural. That's all okay. it is. Okay, that's easy. Now, I have no problem with that. That's not a big deal at all. I don't mind doing that. What, let me ask you, you know, the last time we talked, let me see, I only gave you what, Facebook and LinkedIn for my IDs. Mm -hmm. Was I supposed to put that on my um, Facebook and, um, and my business page right underneath the links, right? Yes. Okay, that, I need to do that. That should go in the intro on, the, on your personal page and in the about section of your okay. business page. Right, I'll do that. That's not a big deal. I, you know what, I've got Instagram, but I mean, I think it's the same as my Facebook on the, because I, I pull it up on my phone and I don't, even, I don't even know how to figure out what my, um, my link is. And that I think it's, I guess it's C. Lee 850. Let's, um, in fact, let's go to your Instagram. Let's see. Let's see if I can find you. Got, I, I've got, hang on one sec. I've got another folder okay. with all this stuff on it. Hang okay. It's turning out to be a really pretty day here. Okay, my Instagram, I know it's Carrie Lee 850. Okay. But I don't know. Um, I okay. So that's my password, but I don't know my, um, I mean, that's my ID, but I don't know. You cut out. I'm sorry. Are you still there, Carrie? You cut out. Try, try maybe leaving the meeting and then and then coming back. Like, go to the screen and click on leave meeting. I think you should see that at the very bottom if you scroll to the very bottom of the page. Let me see. Oh, there you go. I got you. Now I can hear you. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Cool. All right. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. This needs to all match. This, this, this is what needs to okay. be either matching C. It, what is it? C Lee. And it's, or C? Yeah, land or C. Do you think that's stupid? No, is it's there, not stupid. It's not stupid at all. I actually really love it. It's just freaking confusing. Okay. It's yeah, confusing. It's confusing then because it's, it's and, like, yeah, it's confusing. It's confusing because really it's what what it, it's C Lee, and then land or C. Actually, you yeah. know what? No, no. Now that I actually look at it, I actually love it. Yeah. Okay. Now I see it. Now, I, well, I it, see to the consumer, it took me a few seconds to actually see it. Right. But when I saw it, I'm like, damn, I actually like it. C Lee 
Sea Lee, land or sea. I like it. I like it. I really do. Do you have that dot com? See, now you're cutting out again. I don't know why you're cutting out. Aren't you on your, are you on your computer or your cell phone on Zoom? Away from water. You know what I'm saying? I, this now I can I, hear you. Now I can hear you. I didn't hear the last five seconds. Oh, okay. Well, I was trying to land or sea. You know, I sell real estate by the land, on land, land or by sea. Yeah, know? yeah. I love it. I love it. Okay. All right. So yeah. that needs to be incorporated, though, with all my other social media, right? Yes. Like, so for example, do you have the dot com? Okay. So on social media, so here's what every realtor does, right? They'll have a website from their broker and that's the link that your broker gave you. And they said, Hey, Carrie, here's your link. Right. And then we take that link and we post it all over social media, but it's just an eyesore rather than having this, we want to have C Lee land or C.com. Okay. Like we want to match everything. Okay. So I need to have that underneath my email right there. Okay. Yes. Well, I want this to be C Lee land or C. So okay. no more Carrie Lee 850. You're okay. going to get rid of that. And then, and then, and then you already have the business page, the, the business page, the username. See, we want all the other platforms to look exactly like this. Facebook.com forward slash C, C Lee land or C. Instagram.com okay. forward slash C Lee land or C. Gotcha. So you're, okay. you're, you're going to just match them. And, and so this is the part you're changing out the Carrie Lee 850. You're changing that part out. Gotcha. Sure. Got okay. it. Okay, cool. I'll have to change that. And yeah. then let me ask and, you. And, and, and then when you list them, when you go to list them on your personal Facebook page and in the about section of your Facebook page, that's where you're going to list Instagram. Write this down. You're going to list Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Pinterest and and the dot com so let's make sure the the dot com is available and you can go well th this is the problem okay and this is where i'm it challenge okay i know i've got a pinterest account i can't figure out is is that pinterest forward slash then gonna be c lee land or c is that's that what is, i'm saying that's exactly what you, i'm you saying can, it's, it's that. not that now it's probably not that now but but that's what i'm saying we need to change it to that okay so we need to log into whatever the heck it is now and just customize the name. So if I went with C Lee land or C.com and then when people see, that's the name you're going to brand on social media that goes in all the website fields in all these platforms. Right. And right. when people click on that, when they click on that, then they can go over to your broker website. Okay. So, wherever that web, whatever that website is. I also have a, like a waterfront properties, um, Facebook page too. And my broker caught that I didn't have any branding of the firm. So I had to put some, uh, you know, I put a logo in there and said I was working for this, you know, company. Um, you know what I mean? So okay. Okay. So just the website can be anything, whatever you're doing. If, I mean, first of all, you're not going to be, when we do start running Facebook ads, we're not going to be running it to this website. Cause when you're on, when you're running Facebook ads, like, let me show you, do you, are, are you familiar with, with, with actual Facebook ads like that? Well, I, I am because I used to hire someone to do that kind of stuff for me. Gotcha, and then it's, gotcha. it's really not that difficult. I mean, I've done it myself like campaigns, um, but I don't know about ads. Like I don't know you basically, you know, you create an ad and they have to okay it. Facebook does. And you set it up the perimeters of where it's going to go. Right. Yes. There, there's a lot, there's a lot more that goes into it, which, which I can, I can easily teach. I can easily teach you, or we can just run, run a few together. You know, the intro that's next. That's absolutely next. We got to run that intro video for sure. Like that's what we got to do next. But let me show you if I can see a random ad. Here's a random ad. So here's a random ad, video ad. They could be two agents for all we know. Let's look at the name. It's Molly Pittman, whatever she's writing here, whatever. But that could easily be two agents messing around, like whatever. But you're not going to do it that cheesy. Your videos will be more value-based and, and talking about the buying and selling, talking about benefits and advantages. You know, there's so many different topics we'll go over, but this is an ad. This is an ad. When I click on learn more, when I click on learn more. So as I was saying, you're, when you do start running Facebook ads, you're not taking them to this website right here. That's okay. where, that's, that's the number one reason why agents fail. 
with okay. Facebook advertising is because they'll run a Facebook ad on a listing or whatever, or they'll just run a Facebook ad trying to get someone's attention like these, like these guys are, right? Or, or whatever. And then, and then the moment I click on learn more, it's taking me to a website. And the problem with a website is that it's a website. And right. on a website, there's a million things going on. So if you're paying, if you're paying for me to see your video, which you are, that intro video, we're literally going to pay to get people in our local backyard to see who we are, right? If I'm paying and, and I'm paying for people to also click learn more, at the end of the day, we're paying for that. It's an ad, right? We're paying for it. Right. So if I'm clicking, if I'm paying for people to click and they end up coming to this website where there's a million things going on and before you know it, they don't even enter their zip code, right? They don't even hit search because there's too many things. There's too many things. Before you know it, I'm over here clicking over here. There's too many things going on with the website. And so let's see where these people take me. Where these people take me is they take me to one single page. First name, email, save my spot. That's it. So when it comes to real estate, I have a bunch of different pages, one for, for, for looking for buyers, one looking for sellers. So we'll go into the actual strategy, but video is for sure. It's for sure what you got to, that intro needs to roll next. You have to roll that next. Okay. Okay. That, that's all these links. That's one thing. All these links are one thing, but now your like count is up there. So now you have a good amount of likes. So we're good on the like count. Now we got to just introduce Carrie to her local area. Okay. All right. Like that's, that's what it comes so, down to. So once I do that and I go up to post it and I post and I upload that, that photo, that link of the video, do, then I run a campaign or is that what I pay you to do? Because I think we were talking about how you're making money on this, David. So you're going to tell me what you do for me on that. Is that right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> our, my whole thing with you was to, was to take care of step one, which is, yeah, listing all these links and then running the like ad. And then if I don't take on everyone monthly because not everyone is willing to go all in, two reasons. One reason is not everyone's consistent with a video. What I want to do is I want to literally roll a new video of Carrie every single week to your local backyard. Okay. So that puts the responsibility on the agent or on the broker and they have to really get this video done. And sometimes life happens and you're busy doing other stuff, right? You're busy. I mean, you're so, you're so busy. It's not even funny. So sometimes people don't have time to do that damn video. And that's what it's all about is a weekly video targeting okay. your local backyard. Okay, easy, easy. Like, because I've got that's, a lot what everyone, that's, Carrie, that's what everyone says. And before you know it, 15 days goes by and I don't have a new video from them. Okay. You know? um, but I think it's super easy. I think if I was a realtor, because remember, I don't know if you remember me telling you the, fir you know, the first time around, but I was a lender. So I was on the mortgage side of everything. I did that for a long time. Well, at least it felt forever, not forever, forever, but six years. And so I'm, I, it, I always tell myself now that I know marketing and now that I know Facebook ads and now that I know social media marketing, I'm like, man, if I was a local business owner again, I'd be crushing it. If I was a loan originator again, but see, when I was an LO, I was focused on the country. I was, my lender was licensed for all every state. So we were crushing mortgages in every, every state, but someone like you, that's local, a video, it's so crazy, Carrie. Like if, if you're comfortable doing video, I'm telling you, yes, I want to run them for you. I want to run them for you every week and I want to capture okay. leads. I want to capture buyer and seller leads. Okay. And so All number right. one reason why not every agent's consistent, that's why I don't take on everyone monthly. And then, and then number two, not everyone has the budget because now, now it's going to take a few hundred. Now it's going to take actual, we want to be putting in at least, at least a hundred to 150 a week into Facebook ads. Okay. So if you're at, let's just call it five, 600 a month going into a video every week, going into a video, going into an ad every day, targeting your local area. I'm truly convinced that that's what it's all about. But every okay. agent is still posting. Every agent is still worried about all the little things that don't matter. It, it just doesn't matter. You need to just, I mean, put yourself out there, Carrie, your local area. The only way we can reach them is through a Facebook ad. Okay. It's the only way. Like how else are we going to reach them? It's not on social media. They're not all my, fr they're not my friends on my Facebook page. So basically what you're going to do with, with my, if I do a video, you know how to strategically post it. So oh, that yeah. Get, Are you kidding me? I, so do that that I get more, How do I get more buyers and sellers than that way? How does that come in? Are people going to be calling me or is this how, and how does that work? You know, how does that work? So you can yeah, tell there, me. There's, there's a, um, did you ever, you never, you never read my book, right? You never read, I don't think you ever read my book. 
Mm-mm. You didn't read my book. Did you? I just, I just saw the video. I just saw that little video and that's it. But the, okay. that's the only thing. Should I, I need to read your book. Let me no, you, no, you don't have to. You don't have to no. at all. But no. let me, um, let me pull up. There's two, there's two types of realtors that I've, that I've came across in the last few years. Well, since 2016, one type of agent or broker is the type that, that actually has absolutely no time. They're not tech savvy at all. They're busy closing escrows and that's all they care about, but they know the importance of Facebook ads. They know the importance of social media marketing. So they end up bringing me aboard, right? That's, that's one type of agent. And then the second type of person is the type that actually wants to learn it themselves that actually wants to know every little detail, how to run the ad, how to post it, how to capture the lead, all that. And so I ended up writing a book about that. I ended up writing a book about that. And it's what I call the, the, the five steps. It's five steps. Step one was, was your link customization. That's what we did on your page. We're gonna, well, we gotta finish that part of, the, of your page is linking all the names, making sure every, every name is matching. Right. And so in this course, I literally go through in video teaching everyone step one. Step two, I'm literally going in these next four videos, teaching a real estate agent how to run the like ad. Because I ran the like ad on your page, took it up a couple thousand really fast, right? So I'm teaching people in this course, that's step two. Step two is to, is, to, is to run that ad. Step three is now where you and I are talking today. And that's now that intro video. Okay. Video ads that are going to start going out every single week. So to answer your question, your original question, you know, what's it going to take? I'm either going to teach you through this video series how to do it yourself okay. or, or you're, you're going to say, you know what, David, here's a budget. Go crush it for me. Okay. So, okay. T- so, so, so to answer, answer the question even further, it, it comes down to running video ads. It comes down to running video ads, targeting your local area where we're writing out basic texts, getting people to click on learn more go to a landing page. Let me show you an example of a landing page. These are a few landing pages that I have running right now. Um, And these are the pages that I would be using. We can always customize it, change out the color, change out the name, things like that. But let me show you some basic, basic pages that capture a lot of leads. Um, And and, and these are two different pages. One page is for buyers. and this is, this is if you have no listing, right? Let's just say you have no listing and we're looking for listings. Or not, we're not looking for listings. We're looking for buyers. We're looking for people, whether it's a first-time home buyer, whether it's someone just buying their second property, whatever. These are people that live in our local backyard. We're reaching them through video marketing. And when they click on learn more, when they click on learn more, they're coming to a page. So remember, every Facebook ad, this was an ad. Anytime you see the word sponsored, that yep. is an ad. Let's scroll down and let's see another ad. Cause I'll show you everyone is the same. There goes Carrie. Let's show you here's sponsored. Okay. Here's a random video of whatever these people reality. I don't know who that is. Oh, selling your home soon. Find out what your home's worth. Perfect. This is a perfect example. Find out what your home is worth and see how realities, local agents and flat fee will save you thousands on commissions video. I click on learn more. And they're taking me to, to one single page, very different than your website. Very, very different than your website. And so as I mentioned, every agent's take me to their website, but no one, it, it, it doesn't work. You have to take them to one single page where you can capture the lead. It's all about capturing leads. That's all I want to do for Carrie is bring- And it doesn't work. Oh, you, that, why would people advertise on Facebook? You know, if people, we're, we're advertising all day. So for example- <laughs> For example, whether we're looking for buyers or we're looking for sellers, so, so, and it's running to your local area, they click on it and they come to a page like this. Welcome to the San Diego homes under 300K list. Some of these homes even qualify for special financing. So let's say we were promoting, you know, looking for buyers. And, and, right. they're, and these people are in your backyard looking for property. We want to send them a list. They click on that. They enter their name, email, send me the list. And that's step four. The landing page is step four. Your video was step three. Your likes was step two, linking all the links and customizing all the, all the Instagram names. That's step one. So okay. now step four is taking that video step three to a landing page. Step four is this landing page. So to answer your question even further, I want to start driving traffic. I want to start driving clicks to a landing page right. where we capture the lead and put them on an email list. And gotcha. it's through the email list 
where we have a handful of emails that I'm going to have you write up because you know, you know, your avatar, you know, your consumer, you know, your client, right? You know, the type of information they need. If someone is, is, is on the market to purchase, what can we educate them with? Right. You have all kinds of stuff that you could probably let me know. Right. We want to put that into a handful of emails. So someone is looking for homes. They're looking for property. They want your list. They want to know what's on the market. And so they come here, they opt in, they're automatically going to, going to receive that email of, of a link to maybe click on and it goes to the MLS or a link to click on. Then it goes to your website. After we capture the lead, we, it's all about capture. It's all about lead capture. It's all it's about. That's great. Okay. That's so, great because I'm creating a database and I want to, I'm trying to build my business the right way, but I haven't well, been. I just, it's like, I feel like squirrel. I'm all over the place. So look, Carrie, look, Carrie, it goes from a Facebook ad mm -hmm. to them clicking to a page like this to giving up their name and email. And now we have an interested, an interested buyer. At least it's someone that's looking for property. Why in the hell would they opt in for this? Right. If they weren't looking for real estate, they live five miles away from me. Right. right? I'm targeting them with the Facebook ad. Okay. So the power with this, think of how powerful my, my email was with you yesterday. Do you know how many people I had like a ridiculous, a ridiculous open rate on that email yesterday that you watched the video on everyone opened that email. So, so what I'm saying is once we get the email, we got an email. That's what we got. We got a name and email, right? That your the next step, which is what I call step five. And that's what I was showing you in my, in, in this actual uh, training course, step one, Step two, the likes. Step three, your intro video. Step four, landing pages. And then step five is that email autoresponder. When they come to your page and they opt in, that email autoresponder is what's going to be emailing them valuable content, getting them to schedule an appointment. Okay. So, so we're going to, we want to have a pipeline of people in that local area going to a page where they're looking for homes like they can go to something simple like this or or whether you're promoting a seller guide that's what i would highly recommend is getting your hands on a seller guide you i know berkshire has one for sure there's all kinds of information you guys have right do you have any type of like pdf or like a brochure yes right you have all kinds of marketing material this right here is super super powerful this is when we start looking for listings. So th these are seller leads. So, so they're, they're seeing a video of Carrie for four minutes talking about the top seven ways to increase the value of your property before you decide to sell it. It's a four minute video. Carrie's in her living room drinking her morning tea going on this four minute rant about the seven ways to increase the value of your property before you decide to sell it. Okay. And that's a simple video you did on your cell phone. We run that as a Facebook ad and we bring them to this simple page. Okay. Awesome. Seven simple tips to raise the value of your home before selling it. Yep. It's free. I'll also send you a step-by-step -step plan to getting started. Get my seven tips here. They click on that. They enter their name, email, phone number, send me the tips. Like, let me, let me um, show you an example this goes, send me, send me your tips. Now Carrie just captured the lead. You just captured the lead that of someone in your local area that wants to know how can I increase the value of my property? Right. And then they're taken to a page like this. Thank you for downloading your free report. I just sent the list to your email. And then right here is where we can also put a link, getting people to schedule an appointment. What okay. I would do on this thank you video on this thank you page. Here's what I would, I would do. Look, if we're looking for, for buyers, we would send them to something like this. If we're looking for sellers, we would send them to the other one. When they enter their name and email, this is what we call a thank you page. So they enter their name and email, they click submit, they go to a second page. That's the quote unquote thank you page. This is a thank you page. So this right here is just letting people know, hey, this is where I'm on social media. You can click here and, and, and follow me on Facebook. You can click on Instagram, follow me there. Here are all my platforms. But what I would suggest is this being a video of Carrie. And that would be a one minute video. Hey guys, just thank you so much. I just wanted to personally introduce myself. I know you just opted in for my seven tips on how to increase the value of your property. I just wanted to take a second to just say hello, let you know who I am. I did, I did send it to your email. And so you'll be receiving it via email in the next few minutes. But hey, 
make sure you check the emails that are coming out over the next few days because I'm going to be sending you more information on, on just different strategies that will really help you on, on making a decision of selling your property this year. I'm super excited to connect with you. Thank you so much for, for following me. And if you want to chat soon, there's a link below where you can click on it and, and it'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule an appointment. I'd love to talk to you. Chat soon. That's an email. That's an automatic, that's an automated email that went out a day later. But, but that could be on, that could be you on video. Excuse me. That was, that was you on video telling them that or, and, or that's also an email that goes out to them tomorrow. And so all you're doing, you, you, you may have a CRM or a database now, but I, I, I know for a fact, you're not automatically emailing them. You don't have a drip system set up most likely where emails are going out to them every other day. Or do you? I think I lost you, Carrie. Sorry about that, Carrie. That's cool. That's fine. Okay. All, all, all I was saying on this thank you video, it's going to be you introducing yourself. They just opted in, whether it was for a list or for, or for this PDF. This would be a buyer or, or a seller guide. Get okay. your hands on a seller guide. That's what we want to start giving out. So in your videos, the call mm -hmm. to actions in your videos would be, hey, and don't forget to click learn more. Don't forget okay. to click learn more to download our 2020 seller guide okay that that can go in the call to action of your videos because okay. now we have something to give now 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 the video is somewhat more way more valuable and way more relevant because we're targeting people in our local backyard and we're we're just simply promoting a free giveaway hey guys this is carrie i just want to say hello i'm on my way to an appointment one of my friends my neighbors my client she's super fired up she she she's going to be getting way more for this property that she's listing, you know, whatever you got, you can go on a two minute rant about that type of stuff, Carrie. And this could be a video and this could be a video ad. And in that video, in that simple video, you're just simply explaining what's going on. You're documenting your day. That's what I want you to start thinking in these videos is okay. document your day. Okay. Don't try to create okay. document your day. Okay. Document. If you're on a phone call negotiating with your client, have your husband hold the phone for two minutes while he's while he's talking while while, while you're long? on the phone. Hey David, how long should the video be? A couple Minimum. minutes. Keep it simple. Minutes? Okay. Yeah, two yeah. minutes, three okay, minutes, cool. four minutes. It doesn't even matter. Longer than a minute though, for sure. Okay. But here's my point. You want to pick one. Either we're gonna go after sellers or we're gonna go after buyers. Okay. You want to pick one. You want to pick one. That way it's easy. That I, I only I only recommend that so it's easier on you creating content. Well, to be quite honest with you, let me see. I've got three um, sellers opportunities right now, and I've I've had less buyers, and it's probably made my life easier to be and, and harder at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, so it'd probably be better if I became a listing, more of a listing agent, and kept up with that because it's going to give me buyers in the background with it. And so yes. you know what I'm saying. So it'd be oh, smart yeah. to start with the listings. And that's why, like. Obviously, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna master everything, right? You're a, you're a master. You're perfecting your craft, no matter what buyer, seller, whatever. You're a professional. You're a true professional. But the way I would just simply strategize this quote unquote Facebook campaign is let's just focus on sellers. Okay. Let let, let let's dump a marketing budget into Facebook ads and let's focus on sellers. Okay. And and offline, do what you do offline. You know what I mean? You'll always take a buyer. You know what I mean? But but yeah, this right here. That, that, that can make it easier for you. So now every week, you got to just think of a simple topic that we can talk about to give some value to a seller. To anyone in the market that's selling their property, here's my two minutes of, of, of what's on my mind. And, and okay. at the end of that video, here's my point. At the end of every single video, there's a call to action. And hey, hey guys, don't forget to, to click learn more. Like let's go back to an ad. Don't forget to click learn more because I just released our 2020 seller's guide, giving you all kinds of amazing information when it comes to selling your property at top notch dollar in 2020. Don't forget to click learn more, click, click learn more and I'll email it to you right away. Have a great day. You know, okay. that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. And before you know it, people are clicking learn more 
they're coming across a sponsored ad, they come across this, they click on this, and they're able to download. This is one way they can do it as well, is they can just simply come to a simple form like this. Because the landing page is what I pay for. Like I pay for these landing pages. So if we don't wanna pay for the landing pages, then we can even use something like this, where Facebook provides a form. Look, this was a simple ad that I saw, image. It's not even a video. It's an image, and I click on download, and a simple form comes up, and the lead is captured. Okay. So that's one type of ad. That, that, that's the only other type of ad. It's either we're going to take people to a, a, a web page to capture the lead, like this is the one over here. We're either going to take them to a web page to capture the lead, or we're going to simply keep them on Facebook. This is keeping them on Facebook because this, this form is a, is a Facebook form. And that's the second option. That's the second way, not even option. That's the second way. There's two types of ads I'll be running. I'll be running this type of ad and then also an ad where it takes them to a page. Okay. Those are two, those are two different lead capture ads for sellers. And, and all I'm saying is that if we had something tangible, if we had a PDF that we can give away, that becomes the centerpiece of our content and that becomes our bait. That's how we capture leads. So it's by giving away something free. And, and that's why in my case, I give away my free book. My book, you got to go, get, go, go to go get a copy of my book. I'm talking about these five steps. Step one, the links. Step two, the likes. Step three, your intro video. Step four, this landing page. Step five, now that, we, now that we're taking them to a landing page, now that we have their name and email, step five is now we have to email them. We want to send it, but we don't want to have to physically do that every day. I don't want to be emailing 75 people every day, right? You have to put it in a CRM that has an autoresponder. So step five is the email autoresponder, because what I want you to do is I want you to spend maybe two hours on a Sunday while you're drinking a glass of wine or whatever you do, and just write out 10 emails, 10, maybe three sentence, three sentence and in each email is a call to action to get people to click the link to schedule an appointment. So all these emails that go out, like if you download my book, I have emails that you'll start receiving. And they're all automated and there's call to actions in every single one of them with a link to click on to schedule an appointment. I'm trying to get Carrie back on the phone. Okay. okay. Right? And as these sellers, as these potential people in your local area start to download your guide, you want to get them on the phone. And, and if they don't give you their phone number the moment they clicked on your ad, look, they just clicked on your ad. They came here right away. They, they don't know who the hell you are yet. That's why running video every week is the most powerful because once you do and your local market starts to physically, visually see your face and see all your, not, all, all your nuances, everyone has nuances. Once they start to see that of you as well, they're going to become indoctrinated because you're giving out good value. Your videos are based on good stuff. It's not like you're talking about your cat. You're actually educating people. And that's the purpose of these videos is to educate people in a two to four minute video, educate them on that process and also document what you're doing. Document, day in the life, document. We watch reality TV. That's also AKA social media when people are just randomly documenting what the hell they're doing. Okay, all right. And, and so I want you to document, take, you know, little segments of your day and get it on, get it on camera. And there's nothing fake about it. Be as authentic. Don't even, don't even, maybe don't even think the camera's there. You know, if you're on the phone negotiating cameras in the background, your husband's holding it and no one even knows like you're just randomly shooting it, right? Start creating this type of content, start creating and start having fun with it. Okay. Because, but, because but what do you think about, what about, what about you think about most people don't like real estate videos, really? Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. And they really like to have a story, like know about the local market. Oh, like, yeah. Would it be weird if I went into like a, a new restaurant and said, hey, just want to let y'all know I'm at this restaurant. Here's the manager. Hey, what, what's your favorite entree? What is the favorite entree at this restaurant that people should really know about? Then oh. say, hey, listen, let's, you know, just wanted to show that to you because this is right around the corner from a listing of mine. That, that, you know, this is what, you, this is the kind of, you know, oh, home base yeah. that you guys can check out. Like, like incorporate a story with it, like a like a local market situation, like educate them about what's, what's out there. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then you tell that business owner, say, Hey, this is going to be going up on my Facebook page, but most mm -hmm. importantly, I'm going to be running Facebook ads to our local area every week. And this may be, this may be one of those videos. And, and so 
and you could tell it to him say hey and, and so he'll love it he'll love that type of exposure and just say hey once i do post it make sure to share it you know connect with him on facebook or her connect with them and, and share it to their business page have them share it from their business page you know what i mean and, and right. you just create this nucleus all in that local area okay so yeah all, things like that videos that's all we want to start doing that's all we want to start doing okay. is, is putting up more video but see that type of stuff that can also make a good ad or it can make just daily content you know you could take a simple 30 second clip like that and just post it on instagram okay you know what I mean? like that 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 that's what i want you to start doing start showing what the heck you do like start okay. showing that um okay. and, and so but 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 the whole objective also we can't forget the focal the focus here is one video a week one video per week actually has to be done you know where, where it's not just it's not just documentation maybe it's, it's it's actually you know where i have to schedule it and and we have to you know delegate you know an hour a week to making this type of video because although it's on your cell phone although it's super super simple and selfie style you still want to focus on that one that's the ad that's the ad the okay. ad becomes that 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 selfie style video that you actually planned out versus everything else i'm telling you to document if you're going to a restaurant and you happen to get the owner document it that type of stuff is is good for for quote unquote social media and that's organic right but right. the ad the ad would be would be more value based the ad would be again targeting sellers what can we educate sellers on carrie okay. you have so much knowledge it's not even funny you know so much about the buying and selling of real estate. It's not even funny. You know more than 99% of your entire city. You know more, more than 99% of the entire state and country. That's a fact. You know more about real estate. So now all I'm saying is that it's time to, it's time to, it's time to educate and it's time to do it via a video. Do it, do it via, and it's time to do it via, via two to four minute segment videos. Every week. Okay. Every gotcha. week. And, and that's what we're bringing to our local community. We're going to stand out by, by educating and bringing value. And, 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 and people are going, to, are going to become indoctrinated. They're going, to, they're going to feel that they like, know, and trust you, all because they see you vid in video. Even though you have the craziest nuances as well, they don't care. People love that. People gravitate to you, right? They, you okay. attract you. you. Like attracts like. So you're going to attract your, your person no matter what. It's going okay. to happen through video. Okay. No matter how you look, has nothing to do with how you look. And that's why when you saw some of those intro videos, you were probably like, damn, she really put that out? Huh? You were probably thinking that, right? Because you, you probably were bored with it or whatever. But I'm telling you, 90% could think the way you were thinking. But that 10% that actually found her somewhat, you know, business. No, 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 right? no. I get it. It was just, right? it was, it seemed, they seemed just kind of Of course. Long, right. Long. Yes. <laughs> and, and I have so many, Carrie. I have so many where you'd be like, what the hell is he talking about? You okay. like, but at the same time, that's what I'm telling you. It's the authentic, authentic, okay. Authentic, okay. The well, authentic then that, that, that's, so, so my first thing to do then is to create the video. Okay. Mm -hmm. The first thing is to get the Instagram, the Twitter and all that aligned. Okay. So I got to figure out how to do that because I do have, I just have my Facebook. I got to change some of the things on, I've got to get it all C Lee land or C. Okay. Well, um, let, me, let me, let me do that part for you. I just want to, now that we know the name, we're going to go with that name, right? With that one name, C Lee land or C. Right. Right. You, let me do that part for you. I'll do that part for you. Do we need the dot com? Actually, you know what? Let's see if the dot com is yeah. available. Let's see if the dot com is available. Yeah. Hmm. It should be, it should be for sure. Perfect. It's available. Okay. And, yeah. and I, and I think I have a discount code where we can get it for 99 cents for the first year. So every year, every year, it's like $11.99 a year. That's what everyone pays for a domain name. Okay. Whether it's through GoDaddy or any other name provider, it does not matter. We all pay about 12, 13 bucks a year. And so this one right here, 12 bucks they want, you know, to purchase. But I think I have a coupon code where we can get it for a buck. So as long as we know it's available, that's good. I'll get that name for you. I'll get that name for you and register it under, under you. And if I feel this name later is annoying, do I, yeah. do I change it and change it all? Is that what you do? I mean, is that kind of like yeah. where people say, this is really a long name, Carrie, doesn't seem right. We, I don't know. Yeah, we want to change it all. We want to change it all. But at the same time, if, if you're not super, super sold on that name today, right now, then think about it. Think about it. We'll get that part up. Don't worry about that part. We'll get that part up. It takes me two seconds. Once we figure out the name, once we really know that name, then setting up everything else is easy. 
so but yeah that that needs to go up those links and then um and then we got to just get this intro done what but is it just going to be an intro or do we want to run something every week what do you think what do you, is the budget there are you physically there where you actually think you can pull a video every week yeah that's not a problem that's i can not do a problem a at all no mm -mm. And and where you, where are you at again, Carrie? What what area? I'm in Pe I'm in Pensacola. You're in Pensacola. I'm over yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then let's crush it. Let's run a let's run a new video every week. Like what's today? Today's um today's Thursday. Do you think you can have a video done by? I don't want to rush you. Like don't rush it. Have fun with it. Don't rush it. But do you think you can have a video done by by I Saturday? Do, I can I can do one tomorrow. I'm going out of town um Saturday afternoon, so I can do one tomorrow. Do one tomorrow. And yeah. let's post it Saturday morning and let's have it go live targeting everyone in your local area Saturday morning at 6 a.m. Okay. 6 okay. a.m. That video goes live and we want to run it. We want to run it either for, yeah, we want to, we, well, we want to run it for seven days. We want to run it for seven days and okay. then, and then, and then the following, the following Saturday that's, or that next Saturday, that day, Actually, well, it would be Sunday. So if we ran from Saturday to Saturday, that would be, then it would be Sunday when we release the next video. Okay. All right. Okay. So put it down on your calendar where, where yeah, figure out what day works good for you. And, and let's talk about selling. Get your hands on a seller's guide. Get your, ha get your hands on a seller's guide. That's what we're going to need. Okay. Which, which your, um, where's, your, where's your book that I need to read? That Is that... Is that yeah, go yeah. to, I'll, I'll email you a link. I'll email you a link for it. Okay. All right. I'll email you a link for it. Okay. Get, yeah, get a copy of that and just go, you can read that in 20 minutes. I mean, um, but it just covers these five steps. It covers these five steps in text. And I really think you'll, re, you'll get some value and some more clear understanding of all this. What's our budget? What do we want to, what, what do we have to, to put towards capturing leads? Okay. Well then, you know, what you said recommended like 150 a week, right? Is that yeah. what? it does i'd like to start at 100 a week okay and see for a month what this brings me and then if it rolls then i can roll more you know okay, perfect, that's what, perfect. Would, that's what i would think would be smart okay yeah that'd be that'd be perfect because that'd and be then perfect. once you which was the leads come in and there's a crm it all kind of evolves into a crm where i can go ahead and access that and, and really create a business with it is that what what i'm getting i'm kind yes. of getting Okay. This, this CRM that I use, I only use it because it has the landing pages, which I, which is what I need. If we're going to, if anyone's going to run a Facebook ad, you're either going to run it to a Facebook form or you're going to run it to a landing page. 99% of every single Facebook advertiser runs it to a landing page. So as you just continue to scroll through your newsfeed and you see a sponsored ad, start clicking on them and seeing where they take you. You click on learn more. 99% take you to a landing page. This is a landing well, page. Well, my manager, my manager has got some kind of landing page on hers. You can see it. Like if you want to know more information, you can see it. I'm wondering what she's uh, using. Um, Ask her if she, if it's a landing page or a website, there's a big difference. This is a landing page, one page, one button, nothing else. And so there's so many fancy real estate websites where none of them capture leads because they're too fancy. Like this right here is as basic as it gets. Like this is a landing page. So all I'm saying is that 99% of every Facebook advertiser in any business will run an ad to a landing page. So okay. the software that I use is this one, this Karcher one, but I use it because of the landing pages. I use it because of the email autoresponder. That's the second thing we absolutely need. And then I use it thirdly, for the videos, as we start to email videos to our prospects on our email list, we want to start putting out videos. I use Karcher for that. And then, and then fourthly, the last one, I use it for the calendar. As okay. people are getting my emails, I don't want them to just reply with their best time. I want to be able to write in that email and I want this email to be automated. I want this email to go out nine days later because five emails went out prior before this one because they downloaded my seller guide two weeks ago, right? And they're on my email list. We need an email autoresponder. And in those emails, there's links for our calendar that gets people to schedule appointments. Okay. This so is that, like basically like your database, basically. This your is database. My, yeah, this is my CRM. This is my database. This is, this is where I manage my calendar, my videos, my landing pages. 
and my and email so auto responder. You'd be managing. So this is what you're doing. You're, you've got your CRM and you manage everybody else's CRM basically. And you, when, when let's say, but I have access to it, right? Is it shared access where I can yes. go in and then I get, is, is, so it's like a membership then, right? Yes. Is that what you're, is that what it's about? Yes. Right? But, but, but to tell you the truth, I don't even put you on this right, right now. This is a membership. I pay $99 a month for this software okay. and you'll, you'll pay that much for any software or more. You, that's, how, that's just a normal rate for right. every, every right. software. Right. Okay. So that's what it comes with though. That's why it's, it's, it's worth every penny, but it's only for those that are actually running Facebook ads consistently. So if, if you're someone that's going to just come in, just kind of testing the waters and seeing how it goes for 30 days, just to kind of see how it's going to go. Mm -hmm. Maybe you might not even need your own software just yet. You, you might be able to just maybe use mine. Like if I just, maybe if I just created, created a few pages in here for you and, 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 and ran it for 30 days and ran some ads and see, see if it actually brought you anything, then you can go get your own account where, yeah, you'll now have full access and that's your name on that username and that's your password and you can log into your own account and you can manage your own pages and see your CRM and all that because that's your own account now. That's, that's 99 a month. That's where you would be in, I would say month number two. Okay. So month right. number two, you'd go get your own account because now you know the damn thing's working. Now, you know, the landing page or the email autoresponder, you know, the calendar. So all that is, is, is worth every single penny, but you gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta be, you know, diligent, right? you gotta again. be, you gotta be convinced. You gotta be, you gotta be convinced and you gotta be all in. Okay. You know, because, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. That's why it blows my mind, Carrie. 400 when you make four grand per deal. It's like, what? It, that's every real estate, that's, that's the third reason why I don't bring on everyone monthly because everyone's afraid to spend money. You're right. making thousands per one deal. If, if we brought in one extra deal, right. you'd, be, you'd be insanely disgusting off. profitable. I mean, I'm paying like $700 a month for Zillow and it's not lately. It's been you need to cancel that. That needs to come over here. 700 and 400. You need to be putting over, you need to be putting a thousand a month into Facebook ads right now. <laughs> okay. I'm well, not I, kidding. I, like, I'm yeah. not kidding. Like, that, like, it gives me, a lot of people are looking and reading over those. They go on Zillow and they see my, um, they see my um, reviews. Yeah. And that's how a lot of buyers. So. Oh yeah, of course, of course. But you'll be able to, to target them via video in your local area and create your own brand, you know, create your own brand and still capture that exclusive lead, you know, but, but well, get I everyone. You, I mean, if I get, if I get like, if I get one lead from, from this Facebook ad for $400, then, then I did, I would definitely, you know, get rid of Zillow or, you know, cut that back minimal. If you got one lead or if you got one deal. If I got one deal. Yeah, of course. Of course. But, but what, but what I'm saying is that's still, that's still spending pennies. Right. Like compared to what you make. Right. Well, right. Like it's can. still that 400 is a joke. Like, are you kidding me? But at the same time, it's still workable. It's still workable and we're going to run with it. <laughs> we're gonna start small. We're going to start small. I'll scale up with you. That, that I'm okay. all for that too. I'm just speaking out of, you know, I'm just speaking my mind just, where it's like, yeah. it's right. like, damn, come on. Like, when I was in LO, I was making, you know, 10, 15 grand per deal. I was also spending 10 grand to go get, to go get the deal. So, because it made sense to me. Right. You know, and that's why with you, that's why, what are you making? Five per deal, 10 per, per deal. What are you making on average? Let's just be transparent. On, on how much money am I making per deal? I mean, yeah. what, with, with, with Zillow you're talking about? No, or? no. Just if you go close a real estate transaction right now, if you go close no, a real estate, yeah. Per, it's, the average, I guess, you know, anywhere from, you know, three to nine. You I'm know? telling you, Carrie, 30% of that, 30% of that commission, 30% of that commission needs to go into Facebook advertising. So do the math on that. You're, you're, I'm over here freaking you out saying a thousand a month. Do the math on 30% of your net, of your, of your deal, of your commission. That's what I'm saying should really be in Facebook ads. So what is that? A couple grand a month, three grand a month, right? That's what I'm saying. Like, but we're nowhere near that right now. But that's how I want you thinking. Like, okay. I want, I want no, you no. I, 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 if, if, if it works, yeah, you bet. If, it, if that's what, if people, if I get, you know, if I get leads and I can turn them into opportunities, you bet. Yeah, no doubt. Because yeah. um, Zillow is not getting me anything that I'm really interested in. So. Yeah. What, and when does your contract end with that? It's month to month. Oh my gosh, Carrie, cancel that damn thing now. Cancel that now. We need that 700 for Facebook ads for the next 30 days. 
<laughs> we do. Um, we just do. I, well, I want to. I want to see how it goes. I want to see if I even, what responses I get. You know, from it. I want to check it out That's, first. Nothing it's changes. Worse. Nothing changes on your bottom line, anyways. If you were to allocate that over here, nothing would change. Nothing changes. Well, yeah, it does because I don't have my, uh, then I won't have my Zillow reviews on. Gotcha, online. gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so and that's, and that's so where you, people go. People go to Zillow. A lot of people go to Zillow and I've got, I'm a premier agent there. Mm -hmm. And why am I a premier agent? Because I spend that much money a month and that gets me leads. People call and they see, and that's kind of yes, what's helpful. Yes, good. Okay, well then if it, if it ain't broke, then don't fix it. But you're telling me it's broke. You're well, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do some more reviewing on it and see how much it's really worth. But I, I may have to, you know, kind of transition that to, um, uh, Alabama, if I want to sell anything in Alabama too. So. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. So then, so then at, at that budget, at your budget, maybe we can, do you, do you think you can get a seller guide or what do you think? Do you think you can get your hands on a seller guide or anything like that? A seller guide. When, yeah, when like, you were that seller guide that you refer people to. Right? Yeah. Do you think you have one like that? Oh, you, oh yeah. Oh, you're talking about my resources. Yeah. Yeah. Like tips yes. and how to sell. Yeah. I can get that. Yes. 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 This. Okay. So if we have something like that, this is what we're going to want to send them to. So in your videos, that's what we're going to start saying. The intro video. Yeah. You can even mention at the end of the intro video, at the end of the intro video. Hey, and by the way, you guys, I just want to let you know, I also put together a free seller guide. It goes over the seven or whatever you want to say, right? But, right. but that, that's, that's the, 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 you know, the somewhat, you know, the, the, vi the, the groove of it. You would say something along those lines and, 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 and just say, hey, don't forget to click learn more. So okay. remember that. Remember that. Write that one down. Let's go back okay. to an ad real quick. Every ad, there's a learn more button. So just like this, this one says sign up. That one's probably for a gym or something. But let's go to any other random one. Um, Here's a sponsored ad. There is sign up, another sign up. But it's either, your, yours is going to say learn more. So that's all you got to get in the habit of, of, of remembering. Learn more. Okay. Learn all more. Right. Don't forget to click learn more right below to download your 2020 seller guide, you know, giving you some awesome, awesome information regarding increasing the value of your property if you decided to sell it, whatever. You know what I mean? Something yeah. like that. But that's okay. the call to action, Carrie. That's the call to action. Okay. So again, if, okay. if, if we can release videos every week and just get, get thousands of people in your local area to see it and, and start downloading that, that book, you would start capturing leads. And, and, and again, the whole magic behind it all is your email autoresponder that is, that is sending out emails every day on your behalf, getting people to schedule appointments. Okay. Okay. So okay. And that's... Do you have people that, how many, how many agents you work with? How many are you current, currently working with? How many? I have, I have literally, I've been doing this exact, exact, exact step for step process strategy, call it whatever you want to call it. I've been doing it exactly since 2016. So I literally have hundreds. I've taught this and I've done this for hundreds of real estate agents, but as far as monthly, as far as monthly, I only try to keep a handful because that's why I showed you my course. What I'm focused on is in 2020 is I'm focused on teaching you guys how to do this yourself. Okay. Because, I, because, because what I've learned in the last four years, talking to thousands of you guys, not everyone has the monthly budget that I'm, that I'm going to actually end up asking for, okay. which is really a couple grand. I mean, that's when, and we're not there right now, but that's where I eventually want you because it's like, it, because as I'm telling you, you make a lot per deal, Carrie, you need to be taking a good part of that and putting it back into this so okay. we can go get more deals. Right. Okay. You know, so that's better. It's better than Zillow. You're saying it's better than other things that capture. Okay. Uh, well, I don't want to say it's better because then I sound super biased and I sound fake. I don't want to say it's better. It's just different. It's a different branding. It's a different, it's where everyone and their mother is at. Right. It, everyone's on Facebook. So if you, and, and so if your whole objective is to build a company and to build a brand and to, and, 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 and to get the attention of our local audience of a local community to get the attention of my neighbors how else am i going to do that okay right. zillow zillow but how is zillow doing it zillow, zillow is spending advertise no zillow is spending millions of dollars in internet advertising to get people's attention to get to their website zillow is the biggest spender with google advertising and the biggest spender with social media advertising they're the ones spending to get the consumer's attention to get them to their website to look at a property that Carrie had listed. Zillow is spending all that money. That's why they're charging you per lead so much. 
They're spending the money getting the attention. I'm telling you, you spend the money. You spend the money, and, and, and I'm, telling, I'm, I'm saying that that money is a fraction. Spend that money on your own brand via video to target your local area. And, and I'm just saying the only way we can do it is through Facebook. Facebook, Instagram also, but that's pretty much it. And Facebook is where everyone's at anyways, so it happens to work out. Okay. And just for the, for the cost, when it comes to just budget, like it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. So you only have a handful that are doing it monthly. With monthly you, right? That I actually manage, that I actually manage and run these yeah. ads for. Everyone else is buying my course. Everyone else I'm pushing to buy my course. My course is 500. So a I, social real estate agent, right? Yeah. Okay. So I, I say, hey, go buy my course for 500 and learn it yourself. Or you're going to, or you're going to end up paying me 500 to run them for you. So if you want to run a hundred a week, that's where I would be. I would be at 500 a month just to retain so I can run these ads for you and create the landing page and set up the email CRM database where these okay. people are getting emails from you every day. Now I have to set all that up. Okay. So, and I have to manage that. So I don't want you to manage anything this first month. I want you to make one video. Okay. But, okay. but again, not everyone has the budget, so that's understandable as well. If you have the budget, we need to, we need to get up and going. Like, and, okay. and, and if you're willing to make a video, we need to get up and going. You know, we need to, we need to get, get up and going. Because you're either going to pay someone 500 a month like you were before. You were paying someone before, or you're going to learn it yourself. And where my, where, where my passion is at is actually teaching. And so that's why I, I'm pushing my course. I'm pushing my course on people more than trying to take you monthly. Okay. But, but if, if, if you don't have the time or the patience or even the want to even learn how to do all this crap yourself, then that's fine too. I'm here for you as well. Okay. And, 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 and it doesn't take that many deals to be able to afford me per month at all, at all. One deal would pay for me every month. Okay. Right. So, so yeah, that's interesting. Okay. It depends on how lazy I am. Right. Um, <laughs> the, uh, yeah, so but, the social but, but see, is a $500 course, which teaches you all of the things that you're going to be doing or charging me monthly, basically. Right. Okay. Right. Right. Yeah. It, well, yeah, that's, that's, you couldn't have said it better. I mean, okay. Okay. so that again, if you have the time and the patience to learn it, then yes, this is for you. Okay. But if you just want to focus on clothes and escrows, then I'm here for you. Okay. And, and when you set, when you set up something like that with you, is that something that you charge monthly then, or is that something you have to charge quarterly or yearly? It, it, right? No, it, it just depends on, it just depends on you. It depends on how, 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 how hard we want to go. I mean, okay. we can, we can go on for, for January, capture a bunch of leads. You go close a bunch of deals and you and your husband go to Spain for the next three months for all I know. And no, you wouldn't need me after that. Like then, then we would just, you know, not go on month number two. Okay. But if you want to keep going, yes, let's keep going. Like, let, and that's why I want to take you from 500 a month to 2,500 a month. That's where I really want to take you. But to only get there, we have to be closing deals. Right. I exactly. have to be bringing in leads, right? The only way to see you in month number two is to, is to produce in month number one. Right. Cause no, I don't have, there's no contract. There's no annually. No, there's nothing like that to answer your question. It's okay. just, let's just run. Let's just go month to month. I can go put all this together for you. The landing page, the email autoresponder, the, the seller guide, making sure that everyone that comes to the page and they opt in, they're going to get that seller guide email to them right away. I'm going to set all that up for you. And okay. I'm going to manage that for you. That's a daily thing. Okay. That's not, you know, just set it up one time and, and it can just operate. You can, which is what I do, which is the power of email automation. You set up an email once and it goes out every time, but someone has to still look over that. Right. And so that's what I do daily. I look over all of this. I look it over for our landing pages, making sure that everything is proper here, making sure that those emails are going out and making sure those ads are running. I'm looking at these ads all day, every day. These are ads. So just in, the, just in the last few months, 8,300 spent on a bunch of ads and every single one of them is real estate. Okay. So I just, I, just, I just know if you can do the video, if you could put literally a few hundred a month into Facebook ads, we would crush it. That's all I'm saying. Okay, cool. So the next point, the next uh, step is besides getting myself online under that, that address, I'm putting that on my Facebook and my um, – and what are from properties, my other Facebook, and then put the it intro on video, videos. not the intro video, but you know, all my, get, get all my social media squared yeah. away, put it on yeah. and then do my, I'll do my video tomorrow. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. And then I'll, I'll send it to you. And I guess we go from there. Is that how we work it? Or yeah. You... Perfect. What's the budget? Is the budget the 100 a week? 
yeah, let's do that. Start that like that and see how this month goes. I think perfect. that's the way to do it. Perfect. And you have the 500 budget as well. Uh, the 500 budget, uh, you know, I, I really want to stay at 400 this first month and see how it works because okay. I don't want to put myself in a bind. I mean, I don't mind. Um, I could probably do 500, but I want to see, I mean, I, you know, I don't, I don't, I want to see what, what taps out of this besides just, you know, running in at putting, throwing a grand at it and not having any kind of, you know, anybody call me or anything like that. You know what I mean? Or any kind of coverage or, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I, I definitely know what you're saying, but I want you to no, I'm going to do whatever you want to do. The number doesn't even matter right now. It's, it's, it's irrelevant. But what I want you thinking is I want you just thinking long-term. Like I want you thinking branding, like okay. we're going to literally put a commercial in front of your local audience every week. That's okay. what this is. So it's not some fancy ad and you know, we're tricking people to buy a house right. with us. No, this is like hardcore branding. Like Carrie's going to put herself out. Okay. And we're literally running a commercial to our area every week. Okay. So to say that someone's going to click on it right away, who knows? But, but, to, but to also have the long-term vision where, damn, if we're getting viewed in front of thousands of people every week and they live two miles away from me, someone's going to know what the hell I'm doing. Someone's going to want to, you know what right. I mean? Like yep. something will come into fruition. Something will happen from that. That's, that's just hardcore branding at its mm -hmm. finest. You know, so I want you thinking long-term. I just want you thinking long-term and thinking, okay. let's build an empire. Like, let's take over your local area. And the way we're going to do it is through Facebook video ads. That's okay. it. That's okay. it. And if it took two days for something to happen, or if it took two months for something to happen, I want Carrie's mindset to be in, in, in the long-term thinking. Okay. Like, let's, I want, this is 2020. There's nothing else on social media that we need to be worried about. Or do, you have anybody, do you have anybody else in Pensacola? No, heck no. That's why I'm fired up to bring you on because I want to run with you monthly because there's no one in that area. No. Okay. And, and, and I, I don't want to brand multiple agents in one little area. You know what I mean? Right. I want to take one area over with one person. Okay. So but I'm, thinking, I'm, thinking I can, I'm thinking about the first month. I can go up to 500. I'm going to cut my uh, Zillow um, membership because I'm not getting what I want from them anyway. Okay. Cut it down the budget. And then... Um, and we'll go with a month and see, but I'll do the video tomorrow. And I've got to let you go because I do have an appointment. Okay. I've okay. I'll email you the 500. I'll email you the confirmation and let's get the video up by 6 a.m. Okay. on Saturday. Okay. Yeah, okay, sure. Okay. All You're right. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks, David. Message All me. Right. Okay. Bye-bye.